Alright, so now that I'm properly bundled up, actually properly bundled up, the only thing I didn't do was put on extra pairs of socks because it's like minus 13, it's very cold as usual, a little less cold than yesterday. Uh, but still with the wind it's like, I don't know, minus 22 or something, give or take. Anyway, so uh, here's the game plan. Have the lighting behind, the sun behind me for proper lighting and of course to have the wind coming from the west, northwest behind me. And that's why we're probably going to go moving sort of in a southerly eastern direction at the corner of Charlevoix and uh, Centre, du Centre, Centre Street. Show you the sign over here. In an ever-changing neighborhood, but not too much, just like where I live in Hochelaga. You know, here's looking north towards the canal. And over the canal, of course, is the, excuse me, the little burgundy section there. So anyway, since I've said it two times already how cold it is today, I don't know how long of a video this is going to be. So I'm going to see what I can do here. I don't do miracles, but I figured I haven't done a walking video in this part of town in a long time. And I think one of the reasons why, apart from being winter, is because uh, usually when I would come down here, I'd come here to do some, tr some train spotting. And, uh, oh, look at that push bar on that charger. That's kind of bizarre because it doesn't look like a cop car. It doesn't have the cop wheels, rims, and... You know, cop cars don't have spoilers, the color's off. Ah, uh, you know what they say, the devil is into details. I don't know where the hell that comes from, but I'm an expert in details. Yeah, Speaking of cop cars, details. Yesterday I got a nice score, actually, in my neighborhood. Some guy who happens to watch my videos, uh, he sold me a, a Ravel a, a 90, well, it's an early 90s, you know, rounded body Caprice police car snap kit, which I built, oddly enough, in like 94. And uh, I remember because I bought the kit new at Zeller's. Was, I think it was on sale for like six ninety seven. They would have a sale like every, I don't know, every couple of weeks or something like that. Friperie is French for secondhand store. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I got a good deal on it. He was asking forty five, and I got it for thirty five. And if you think it's a, a lot for a kit that's not even thirty years old, and uh, it's a snap kit. Well, still, the kicker is that he included what I did with my my version at that time. I didn't go with the generic cop car decals. No, no, I, I bought from a model car club. I was with. I bought a, a some decals to either make uh, to make a police car, a Montreal police car. So the guy ap actually happened to have those decals also with the decals to do a sûreté du Québec. So if you need the decals for a sûreté du Québec, which is provincial police force, you have that model. Well. Let me know. I sell things generally reasonably, you know? So yeah, very happy about that. And it's really funny because I, uh, I already have two other big old American cop car models to build. The last one I bought last year, I think, uh, or both of them last year, one of them is a 71 uh, Ford LTD police car, which I'm not sure, exactly sure I'm gonna do with it. It's a 007 movie car. And uh, the other one is, uh, oh, look at that. They got all those historic type photos like in, uh, like in downtown. I got to go take a look at that. The other model I got to build is a 77 Monaco ch uh, Chips, which is California Highway Patrol cruiser. Oh, the old Grand Trunk. That's right. Just like the railroad, Grand Trunk Railroad, which means, well, if I'm not mistaken, that the train line ran right here originally and not over here where that overpass is, which I filmed many a trains here. Look at this nice looking doggy, kind of frolicking in the snow there. Look at, look at some of these pictures here. I suppose she's the photographer or something more. I don't know who are these people. Okay, I'm already not, I'm already not intrigued because I thought usually they, they show like really old historic photos of Montreal. Oh, maybe one of you guys will know and say, hey, so see, it's it, so uh, see, uh, Pierrette. And that's uh, Lucifer, and that's the rooster, and, <laughs> and this guy is Shaggy. <laughs> oh, he cracked me up. So I figured what I would do is, yeah, I'd come up to here, make a left on this street, which I don't remember the name of it, and then go all the way to Hibernia Street and take a break there because that's where this train line runs along till. And it's a nicer, it's a nice um, background with my favorite mural there, you know? 
So we're going to uh, veer off here off of uh, Charlevoix Street, or Charlevoix, next to this lovely park here. And why is it lovely? Because it's got a lot of trees. Anyway, generally speaking, it's still kind of early to, to, do, to film a lot of trains because, uh, not just because it's a Sunday, but there's usually more trains in the evening via trains and sea and freight trains. And if you're wondering about the CP line, well, the CP line is doesn't run here by here at all unless you're in, of course, get to Lachine and they run CN and CP run parallel. Yeah, these kind of Volvos are kind of growing on me, you know. Again, this is one of those cars like, you know, with age, I'm finding it looks better. This is always meh. You know, I've seen a, an 80s or early 90s at Connelline Camper Park there. Look at that. That's when you know a neighborhood's changing. When you see a vehicle like this, look at that. It's actually like a military green. Is that, what is that, an aviator? No, that's a, I think that's a Range Rover, eh? A weird car to see around here. But that's what I'm saying. It's a gentrification, like my neighborhood. You know, maybe not as much, maybe more so here because it's closer to downtown. But they'll never get the tr they'll never get rid of the trains. I'll tell you right now. Oh, this is the kind of beautiful winter day I love. Okay, yeah, it is cold, but the wind's at my back. But I look at the contrast, beautiful contrast to get with that beautiful blue sky with la neige, and neige is French for snow, and that's the way it goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, I'm actually a little bit warm, mind you. I just sucked down a coffee on the way over here. I'm glad I thought of this because, you know, the problem with when you're OCD like me, even though I'm not officially titled that way, but I'm freaking sure I am, you can do things in such a repetitive manner, which is good in some ways, like, you know, the, my car stuff, the videos, things that sustain me, that I'm passionate about, that keep me alive as a passion, as a career, uh, and doesn't make much money, but but then when it comes to like, like this, for example, like going to film in the same places, the same things again, over and over and over again, it's not, uh, it's not great, you know? Well, anyway, I'm happy to say that today is uh, the second last day of uh, uh, January. I'm happy this frickin' month is going quickly as I had hoped. Maybe not as quick as December or, Janu uh, December or November. Because part of January was just crap, just frickin' cloudy all the time for like three weeks. Like last week of uh, December, uh, last week of December and the uh, first two weeks of January, give or take. Maybe even a month. Some people playing hockey. Yeah, I wonder if they play better than the Canadians. Ah! <laughs> and now they're out of Carey Price and all this. Boy, I'm telling you, man, I think that team is fucking hexed. I'll tell you right now, I think they're jinxed. They are freaking jinxed, man. They, they haven't won a cup. Imagine that. 28 years, for crying out loud. 29 years, actually, sorry. 29 years! 29 years! They haven't won a Stanley Cup. I mean... That's just ludicrous. For Christ's sake, Montreal is like the founder of hockey, for crying out loud. The Canadians are so old as a hockey team that before they were actually called uh, the Montreal Maroons. Even I know that. And I'm not a hockey guy. And these old new beetles, they grow on me. They've grown on me. Look at this one's got, actually got twin pipes. Maybe it's got a turbo in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low income housing there. How much would these places go for, eh? Oof. I have to wonder. I have to wonder. So yeah, my plan is there, I'm gonna go right to Hiberna Street coming up here. I'm gonna take a break there, see if I can film a train, probably not. And, uh, and then, um, cause I gotta stick around too long cause it's so goddamn cold. Or at least it's not as cold as yesterday. They set a high of a minus 11 today. That's Celsius by the way. And then I'm gonna go south uh, to Wellington and then go east on Wellington and then probably finish this at the lookout of the CN train yard and the skyline downtown. And by the way, you see how dirty this car is? What is it, a Tesla? You know that uh, you're not allowed to, to have that. It's illegal, eh? So it's more important to charge that fucking thing than to clean it because you can't see the license plate numbers. That's why it's illegal. You have to be able to see that in case the vehicle's stolen or, in, you know, involved in a crime, of course. Is this a church? I never really noticed this building before. Why am I walking on this side anyway? This side. Ugh, Elton, you putts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's what I thought. This is an old fire station, actually. It's a beautiful old building, probably made, uh, oh God, <sighs> over a hundred years ago. But then again, don't I always say that? Oh, I tell you, those electric cars though, are really, it's like the more they're out, the more like the time goes on, the more people are finding and the more we're finding how deceiving they are in so many ways. I, you know what? I don't even want to talk about it. It's just because that's the hope there was. But the fact of the matter is, bottom line, as much as, a, as, much as internal combustion engine pollutes, 
It's not really any cheaper, for one thing, to run an electric car because the rates are going to go up anyway. Hydro come back just the other day. They said they're going to raise the rates on people charging those cars, the electricity. I'm not, that was bound to happen, you know? That's, that's just number one. And then, of course, there's the range of those vehicles, which is terrible. You know? Where are we now? Mullen Street? I can't remember what street I'm at. Where's the sign? Où est la pancarte? Here we are. Uh, yeah, Mullen Street. Wasn't that what the street was at before? Isn't that what it was called? Or did I not notice it? Anyway, Mullins and Hibernia. Hibernia. Which makes me think of, speaking of electric cars, which makes me think how every winter I think I tell people jokingly, I was like, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> if like, uh, uh, if it was possible, we'd do like on that Saturday Night Live skit from the early 90s or late 80s, they'd say, uh, you take a pill called Hibernol and you just freaking go in a coma for like, you know, the whole winter and you wake up and the guy's like, what day is it? What month are we? And he's like, got a beard and everything, you know. They got the signs on both sides here. Both sides. I don't know why, but... But when you're, when you're visually impaired like me, it's the little things like that that make a big difference, you know? Anyway, there's your CN line there. I'm gonna hang around here, like I said, see if I can get a choo-choo. I think I even hear something right now, actually. There's something buzzing. I'm gonna hang out here. Still can feel the rays of that sun, baby. Positive of the global warming, no? Hey, maybe? Anyway, we're now we're on the other side of the CN line over here. Right at uh, Ibernia and there is the other. Is the, 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 oh, man, we'll get to that. And there's a there's a helicopter. Off. Let's zoom in on it for fun because I like aircraft. And all of a sudden, I was reminded of when I was in Scouts. One time, we took a tour to Bell Helicopter in uh, Mirabel. God, I love the zoom on this camera. I never get enough. Even though, unfortunately, the defect with it is if you lose, use it as much as I do, eventually, like in, this, in the spring, you know, there's a lot of dust and stuff in the air, so it gets in the camera and jams the stupid... It's, it jams the zoom, so... It doesn't uh, zoom in and out smoothly, unfortunately. I was going to go continue down here, uh, but uh, I want to show you guys this amazing mural because it really is my favorite mural in the city. I really think it's amazing. I think it's very symbolic to life and how we're all different in Montreal and oh yeah how could I forget Knox Street like Buddy Knox the guy who had that hit song in the late 50s I never cared for I don't hear it, I hate the song but it's like come on be my party girl come on be my party girl it's kind of hokey kind of song kind of country you know yeah but I think the last time come to think of it that I came here and I filmed the train was uh I think maybe it was actually last month, early last month. I know it wasn't freezing cold and I think it was kind of snowing lately, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and I was thinking maybe I'll, maybe I'll film a freight at the uh, lookout where we're going to stop this video, but it's going to be windy up there, man. Here it's not bad because I got all the buildings blocking out the wind here, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Which way should we go? This street or the other one? Uh, let's go this one. Which I don't know the name of, which I don't see the sign. So, whatever. Of course, every time when you go train spotting and you're hardcore like me and you think about leaving, you also think to yourself, well, if I'm going to leave, I might miss something. You know, there's a good chance I'm going to be a halfway to Wellington Street and they're going to hear the diesels, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, I'll tell you one thing. One of the things I sure miss about summer and these months is the cars being clean. Everything's all dirty and disgusting, full of crud and colorless. It is what it is, as we always say. It is Sesaki It is what it is. You know? I would imagine most of these old places like this design here, like that one, they're... Uh, Probably like my place, you know, built a hundred or more years old. So maybe they were built on sedentary rock and it's just not 
They're not, uh, the floors are probably all crooked like mine. Never get used to that, eh, seriously? Never get used to it. Uh, my memory's become terrible though, like seriously, I can't even remember what the hell street this is. I can't remember what this street is, I can't remember what that street is. Yeah, it's gotten worse over time. Because of all them herbs I digest, unfortunately. And I'm not talking about herbal remedies, you know? Yeah, this is not only a fun place to walk around like where I live, but again, the trains really add to that. You know, you got a few different places where the roads cross under there like that. Uh, and not many, but you know, again, it just adds to it all. I think, actually, come to think of it, my uh, favorite French Quebecois film called Crazy, I think they might have filmed part of it, uh, like at, at this street or in Saint Henri. I'm thinking one of the two areas. I'm gonna show you something here about this depaneur coming up here. It's quite uh, space. Yeah, let me just see where we are here. Oh, uh, yeah, that looks familiar. Was that coal rain? Coal rain in Liverpool. Boy, can you get more of an Anglo area? Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Eh? This is like the opposite of Oshelaga. You know, you got French and English people living pretty much anywhere together in the city, but Oshelaga is definitely still more French and uh, than anything, and even though it's changing, and this area has always been French and English, but it's also very English because there's a lot of Irish. Look at the old tarot, the old good old CTCUM, STCUM tarot, with the T with the arrow. Yeah, Shabert. Shabert. Thought I heard a thought I heard a diesel locomotive for a second, but that was a big rig Drake breaking. You know? Holy mackerel, look at that. There's something I've never noticed before. Look at that tree. <laughs> That's Whoa, the tree going, growing through that fence. Nothing stopping a tree, man, eh? How's that for the strength of roots? Wow. You don't see that too often. Yeah, man. Dig it. Dig it. Dig it. How's the battery? Battery's holding up good, considering it's the, the shit spare one. Now we're walking towards Wellington Street. Ooh, this would make a nice thumbnail right here. I'm not sure, but this looks like the street actually that I filmed a beautiful, like a mid-70s Camaro a few years ago. Ooh, look at that Paris Street in Liverpool. Wow, that's... You know, in Montreal North, they have a London Street, they have a Paris Street, and I don't remember the other ones. You know? Yeah, you gotta love that French-Canadian architecture. And I'm dead serious about that. I've been to other places and it's like, it doesn't matter if it's homes or, or stores that are old. A lot of them are just boring, just dull, simple architectures. Nothing, you know, look at this. Look at that fence alone. Look how beautiful that is. Even though I don't think it's very old, but still, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, well, like I always say, there may not be practically any old cars anymore to look at, but at least there's still all these beautiful old buildings. Not going anywhere as long as they stay in good shape and people realize their historical significance and worth for that matter you know there's so many of these buildings like that around here but unfortunately some of them i know there was one that became unstable and they had to vacate everybody and uh, i think it was uh supposed to be demolished or something i'm gonna come back here one day and, and film a walk and there was all these alleyways it's just to see what there is you know There's a sign for Wellington, that's good, I don't have to look for it. Very good, very good. Man, tomorrow on Monday, the restaurants are gonna be reopening their dining rooms here in Quebec. Holy freaking Louia, man. You know how tired I was of like, not eat, being able to, re the only place I could really rest was like, the metro stations, you know, I couldn't go have a coffee at a Tim's or whatever, or a meal, I mean, man, come on. We're all like, freaking double vaccinated. I got my booster, I've been vaccinated three times. We're wearing masks and washing your hands. The hell more do you need, for Christ's sake? You know? Mm. Ukrainian church, I think, if you remember. I don't know, it's the worst for 
aware, I guess, as they say. Mm -hmm. There's an old, uh, looks like a late 90s, like 99, 99, 98, 95, 94, 93 Chevy. It's like a base model CK. Oh, sorry, base model crew cab. This is really nice. This is definitely one of the nicest homes in the whole borough of, of the point. And the details on that, my god, you'd think it was a house in Havana or Turkey or something that, you know, look, look at that. There's like some, all these beautiful bay windows. It makes you think of uh, San Francisco. San Francisco, which has some problems. Actually, all of these are really beautiful. My God. My God. Look at that. Man, obvious, I think it's very obvious. I must be just one or a few people that own all these buildings because they're all amazing. Amazing. I mean, they dropped a fortune in these places just in paint alone and time. This is one of those things people would give away books, you know. They didn't want. Look at that. Just fabulous. Thinking about that for a thumbnail, even though they're not well lit. Really nice. Well, this concludes your tour. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. The George Hall. Dr. George Hall. Wow. You know, it'd be funny if it was still a doctor who lived here. Actually, it would be funny if that kid, that guy had offsprings and like it was still in the family. That would be something too. Really, why not? It happens with buildings, cars. All kinds of properties, businesses. You know, I look at my best customer there. He bought so many ads for me that I framed. I'll give him a plug. He's a, he's a butcher, right? It's like fifth generations that had that butcher shop since like, what, the 50s? The 40s? And it's on Ari Barossa in a hunt. It's called uh, La Salaison Saint-André. And the guy, my friend Andre, customer, he's a really nice guy. His sons work for him. I mean, it's beautiful, you know? Ooh, the Fortune Street, La Rue Fortune. Look at this, oh, another gorgeous trick, look at that. Oh man, I don't know what they're gonna do with that though. There's a street ring a bell, look at those icicles, holy mackerel. It's for sale, isn't it? No, it says, share the warmth. Looking for donations. Okay. Uh, I give more than I, I ever did before. Before I didn't give any homes to around here, around anybody, anybody anything. But I don't know. I think something interesting about getting older and being more generous it really is this uh, caring more about people, even if, even the strangers, people you don't know, and the, being more have more empathy and being understanding. You know, it's not as common at all when you're you know when you're young. I don't know what it is about. Generally, when you're young, most people are very you know, I was young and just selfish. Did me, 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 and just I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Ow! Damn it! Do I have a rock in my boots? Damn it! Where do you see the bonheur? It says by here the happiness. I think that's a bakery, eh? Ow! Dang! That's not a good place for that to happen. about crossing the street but I'm, I'm going back here down over there is the uh, CN line so I'd be in a better view to see a train if it goes by well this was bound to happen I have a pharmacy over here because where there's a lot of old people there's pharmacies right I mean uh, it's normal I'm glad I uh, went out. I, I'm really not motivated to go out this time as, as much as usual like anybody else. Oh my god, it's bright. Let's see where we are here. Wellington and Ash Street. Yeah. And then over there in the corner, that red building is Centre Pizza. Which of course in English is Pizza Center. You know. Rock the cradle of love, -na 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 -na. rock the cradle of love, where's the cradle of love, rock it easy, how? Rock the cradle of love, rock the cradle of love, rock it easy, how? Rock the cradle of love, rock the cradle of love, rock it easy, how? Rock the cradle of love, rock the cradle of love, rock it easy, how? Rock the cradle of love
cradle of love. Rock the cradle and love. Man, that guy, Billy Idol, there are certain people who define a decade of music. Kurt, Go Kurt Cobain defined the 90s, right? Introducing us all to grunge. And even having kind of a white soul type of voice. But then Billy Idol was definitely one of the definitions of the 80s as he was with Michael Jackson, Madonna, you know, so forth. Well, it looks like we might have a snowstorm coming this week. I'm not sure. It looks like it depends on the temperature, really. Uh, I think a lot of rain, snow. I don't know. Looks like it's up in the air. It's starting Wednesday. It's still two days from now. And um, my friend Dave, uh, friend Dave uh, Braga, who lives in uh, East Falmouth, Cape Cod, they got like, oh my God, like 42 centimeters of snow, which is like, I think, two feet of snow. It's crazy. You know? Oh yeah, that's an ad for this uh, historical, like a turn of the century home. It's a museum. I really should go see that one day. Jeez, they even advertise or used to advertise in the metro, even in the metro cars. Look at that weird building here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. what? What is with people's obsession with black all the time? Tell me. Tell me. I was very disappointed to see the other day on that stupid Facebook. You know the problem with Facebook is, it's also become news, right? Anything, even if it's not in the news, something you care about, it's affected, you're gonna fucking see it on Facebook. Like when I found out that Exo ordered a bunch of these new locomotives from Siemens, just like Via, but it looks to me like, from what I saw in the picture, the freaking locomotive is all black. You know, like, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? Accurate TL, I like these cars. Never looked at them really in the past. When they were new, but now, of course, the cars are like about 20 years old, give or take. You know? Yep. Call the sacks, French for dead end. M O N, that spells moon. That's a uh, movie reference. See if you can uh, pick up on it. Wellington and Bourgeois. That is a funny name for around here because, for one thing, it's French. You know? Ow! I'm gonna have to stop somewhere and get this stupid rock out of my boot. Damn it! Salt rock. I like to rock, but not that kind. Look at it, another beautiful church. Boy, it never ceases to amaze me when you walk in old areas like mine or this or, uh, you know, uh, Verdun, uh, Park X, how many churches there are like so close to here because people are so religious. It was They were God-fearing Canadians, Americans, Europeans, whatever. And today, they can't even sell these churches. You know, they should be owned by the, all the cities should own those churches. They should never, they should be protected. They're a symbol of their time. Even if religion went run, went wrong in, you know, a couple of ways there, as you all know. Right? So. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop over there at that light. I'll take a break here. See if I any chance I can get a free going by. I'm going to finish this right at the top of the lookout. Well, ain't much going on today with the choo-choos, eh? But then again, I would imagine the demand for supply is definitely not like it is in December, right? That's January is not a month for growth and business. Even I know that, you know? Seriously. It's uh, a slow month, man. That is for sure. And I always forget the name of the street here. Let's see here. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. De la congregation. Of the congregation. Speaking of how strong religion was, you know? Wow. Like, wow, man. Like, Maui, wow, man. And why do I say that, man? Because I watched one of my favorite movies this week, man, which is Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke. I love that movie. I remember even watching that. I don't know if it was the first time I saw it. I don't think so. It was, uh, look at the reflection that time. It was when my brother and me had a party for the first time. My mom was out and uh, and we had some friends over. And that was the first time I tried Zambuca. Yeah, I was like, what, uh, 16? I think that was the last time I ever had that. It didn't definitely didn't uh, agree with me. <laughs> right there when I was watching that movie. Yeah. And I, no, I can't remember what this street is. You know, I gotta tip my hat off once again to CN for building this. Well, I would imagine it's CN that made this huge little mountain here. Um, and it's really awesome. Like, 
because uh, this is a really a unique view of not only the, the trains and the, the CN yard, as you'll see if you haven't seen my other train videos, but also of the city skyline. And now is a perfect time to see that, right? Because of the uh, the low sun. That's right, the golden hour, as Ben calls it. As some people call it l'heure d'or, I guess in French. Yeah, they got a lot of pillars here still. They're supposed to be building, I don't know what, another garage. I don't know what the hell. I don't even hear anything going on here, even. Oh. And there's the skyline. Oh yeah, it gets better, don't worry, it gets better. Yeah, I like when I'm able to plan stuff like this more than I used to. Planning was never my forte in the past. I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't take my lithium enough or something, you know? That's because I didn't eat veggies or fruits enough, that's for sure, either. I'm taking better care of myself than ever, so... One thing at a time, eh? Yeah, nice and quiet here, eh? Oh man, I'd love to get a free here now, but I can't stay long. My toes are already cold. I probably should have wore uh, some uh, wool socks also on top of the ones I have. But... And look at that, those, it's sad. This is cool to see, but sad at the same time to see those MR90 computer trains all retired. And fortunately, they're probably gonna end up scrapped because nobody wants to buy them. Which I find ridiculous. I don't see why nobody would buy them. It's actually even stupid how they were retired also because I don't know, it seems to me they could have kept them in service. Maybe on another line somewhere they could electrify it, you know. 25 years for trains? That's not a long life, my friends. Let me tell you, that is not a long life. Sorry to say. There we go, man. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching. By the way, I want to thank... Uh, uh, some of you guys recently, you sent me some, uh, there's Earl, there's Peter, some people sent me some donations. Very pre much appreciated, and anybody else in the past for that matter. And uh, if you want to send me something, uh, uh, since I do this really full time, I don't have any like, I really don't make peanuts on the uh, on the ads, except for last December, which was like close to a thousand. But this month is going to be like, I don't know, 300 bucks, it's a joke really. So if you appreciate what I do, you want to send me something, you can do that through... Uh, my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com, eltonmcfall, spelled like it sounds, at hotmail.com, and uh, if whatever, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 3,000 dollars, whatever you want to do, it's much appreciated, because, uh, like I said, I do this full time, and we're going to zoom in here real quick on things, I got a uh, Patreon page, but it uh, doesn't really do a lot, I got two patrons, Oh, it's freaking windy up here, boy. There's your update on the REM project right there, eh? Yeah. Looks like it's getting close to being completed, eh? So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. My God, it's windy. There's a couple engines right there. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.